my name is Alexis, and just the other day I was handed some stats. Some stats. Thanks. Did you know, normally we have two to three hours a week with the youth, but at summer camp we have 76 hours. 76 hours, that's a long time. 21 of those hours were spent sleeping, so praise Jesus we can get our sleep. But 55 of those hours, we are awake with the youth all day long. Three of these hours are spent traveling in a cramped, hot car, fighting over who gets to choose the radio station. Three hours, we are walking up and down this hill in Eagle Iowa. That's the mountains, people. That's a lot. That's three hours of fighting with the girls to put their straighteners away. And the boys realizing that cologne is not deodorant and it doesn't help with the bath. That's six hours of them being picky about what they do and do not like to eat. That's also six hours of playing these crazy games all at the bottom of the hill, trying to convince them that playing group activities is fun. 10 hours of free time. That's trying to make sure they are all in the right place at the right time. Who's going to the swimming pool? Who's getting coffee? Lord help us. And who's just hanging out with their friends? But then I realized at camp, spiritual things also happen. That's five hours of worshiping Jesus over the course of these four days. That's five hours of uninterrupted time just spent in the presence of the Lord. It's eight hours over these four days of being immersed in the Word of God without the distractions, without everyone else telling them they're wrong, but knowing that what the Word of God says is applicable to their life today. That's 55 hours in the four days of meeting awesome new friends who supply positive peer pressure, who help them to identify that they are not alone in their Christian walk, that there is a body of Christ with them wherever they go. There's also 55 hours of a generation being raised up to be part of the body of Christ and understanding what that calling means and being on fire for God and ready to take on whatever may come their way. In 55 hours, over the course of four days, these youth come into camp broken and in need of understanding that Jesus is with them wherever they go. Whatever circumstances they're facing, they know that by the end of camp, Jesus is right there with them, fighting these battles with them, and they leave camp transformed, ready to fight against the cultural norms and what is accepted by society at times to do what the Lord has called them to do. I understand how a youth can be transformed personally. It was seven years ago that I went to these summer camps as a youth. I was in one service that I can remember particularly. And 30 minutes into worship, the speaker comes out and tells us, I believe that there are some of you who are called to be pastors, apostles, or prophets. And if you're one of those people, stand up. I was 14 at the time, and I didn't really understand what that meant. I felt called to be pastor, but that's a lot of pressure. You don't know what that's going to entail or what God may ask you to do. But I stood up anyway. And after that moment of standing up and declaring, this is what God's called me to do, my life has never been the same. Would you consider helping us send some kids to camp? 76 hours of their summer is all it takes. Click on the link below to help send a kid to camp.